The Swedish car attracts with its versatility. You can comfortably and confidently move on it both on the asphalt highway and beyond. Another advantage is safety. Should I buy used copies of this model? The Volvo XC70 model belongs to a small subspecies of off-road station wagons. These cars are aimed at ambitious and active drivers who need a vehicle that combines the behavior of a passenger car with the capabilities of SUVs. In addition, the XC70 is characterized by high passive safety, and this is confirmed by the employees of the company's service and the owners of these cars. They recalled many cases when, in collisions with the XC70, other cars and people riding in them suffered greatly, but the Swedes themselves got off with non-critical damage and saved the lives of those inside. This model is richly stuffed, leather trim is not uncommon, full power accessories, there is also a memory for three positions of the driver's seat, a multifunction steering wheel, climate and cruise control, heated seats and exterior mirrors, a rain sensor, not to mention such little things like central locking, airbag, immobilizer, ABS, etc. As a rule, this equipment works reliably. The workmanship of the interior is very high, although there are still some shortcomings. So, after four to five years of operation, power windows can creak. The reason is the wear of plastic guides, they need to be replaced. It is also possible the appearance of crickets in the center console requires silencing. The visibility of the XC70 is good, and the noise isolation is very high quality. All XC70s were equipped with five-cylinder turbocharged petrol and diesel engines. In Ukraine, gasolines are more common. A 2.4-liter engine was installed on copies of the first years of production, B70 cross-country, and 2.5 liters, on cars since 2002, XC70. There are no serious claims to the power units of this model. Turbines, as a rule, withstand the entire life of the motors. The operation of variable valve timing and ignition systems with individual coils, petrol versions, does not cause any remarks. Normally perceived are fuel and solar versions. Although, if you refuel with low-quality diesel fuel and drive mainly in the city, at low speeds, with traffic jams, then the particulate filter becomes clogged. The malfunction is manifested by a deterioration in throttle response. In this case, you need to contact a branded service station where a special program for cleaning the particulate filter will be launched in the engine ECU. As a preventive measure, motorists are advised to periodically go to the track and give a good soot at high speeds. The cleaning program is activated automatically. In addition, if you change the oil and diesel engines according to the regulations, 20,000 kilometers, then over time, by 100,000 kilometers, rockers and hydraulic compensators become unusable there is a malfunction of increased engine noise. In order to avoid problems, Minders advise reducing the oil change period in such engines to 10,000 km. In 2.4-liter gasoline engines, airflow sensors and electronic throttle valves broke. A characteristic malfunction of all gasolines is the loss of tightness of the front camshaft oil seals. The timing of all motors is driven by a belt, which is changed along with the rollers every 140,000 km. At the same time, the belts and rollers of the attachment drive are replaced. In all engines, the radiator of the cooling system loses its tightness. This all-terrain wagon is comfortable and easy to drive on and off the highway. Thanks to the high ground clearance, 200 mm, all-wheel drive and the DSTC electronic system, which can simulate cross-axle differential locks, it is on most versions, the car is able to overcome snow barriers, a sandy section of a country road or beach, etc. However, one should not exaggerate its capabilities he's not an SUV. It doesn't have a downshift either. All-wheel drive V70 cross-country and XC70, different, although both cars in normal modes, front-wheel drive. When the front wheels slip, the rear wheels are connected to the first one using a viscous coupling, and the second, to a more advanced electronically controlled Haldex clutch, the response speed of which is much higher. For both cars, by 100,000 kilometers, there may be problems with the front CB joint of the car and shaft. The weak point of versions before 2006 is the connecting sleeve between the shafts of the transfer case and the gearbox. The viscous coupling is sensitive to the tires used, degree of wear, tread pattern if the difference is large, this part may become unusable. Haldex is less finicky, although it also has problems, see, weaknesses. Most cars are equipped with automatic gearboxes. For instances, before 2005, the automatic can cause trouble. 
As a rule, they occur in active drivers. Failures of the hydraulic valve block are noted. There is a malfunction in shock gear shifting. Since 2005, they began to install a new, more reliable automatic transmission. The splines of the connecting sleeve between the shafts of the Rizdatka and the gearbox are licked off, which is why the four-wheel drive does not turn on. After seven years of operation, problems with the exhaust system begin. The rear bank of the muffler is the first to surrender. The service life of the hydraulic silent blocks at the front levers on cars until 2006 is only 40 to 60,000 kilometers. The weak point of the Haldex coupling is pressure sensors, due to which the rear wheels are connected shock. In rare cases, the pump fails. The Swede suspension is moderately rigid and energy intensive, which allows you to confidently move both on rough roads and on a country road. Structurally, it is similar to a relative of the Volvo S60, in front, McPherson, in the back, multi-link. The weak point is the front hydraulic silent blocks of aluminum front levers, 40 to 60,000 kilometers. In the last year of production, they were replaced with conventional rubber ones, and they began to serve about 150,000 kilometers. The resource of rubber bearings of the front struts, rear wheel bearings and rear silent blocks of the front levers is small, 60 to 80,000 kilometers. But the ball bearings of the front end, the struts of both stabilizers and the upper silent blocks of the rear knuckles of the multi-link will last about 150,000 kilometers. The remaining parts of the rear suspension nurse up to 200,000 kilometers. Cars could be equipped with conventional shock absorbers, struts that maintain a given ground clearance regardless of the load, as well as Morix with a variable degree of rigidity, rare. The latter serve worse than the others, up to 100,000 kilometers, and are expensive, one piece, about 6,000 hryvnias. In steering until 2005, steering tips serve 30 to 40,000 kilometers. On some cars, the upper rail oil seal could lose its tightness. In 2005, the rail was finalized, it became more reliable, and the service life of the tips exceeded 150,000 kilometers. The braking system with disc mechanisms of all wheels is powerful and efficient, but by the mileage of 100,000 kilometers, the friction linings on the parking brake drum blocks rust, which provokes wedging of the wheels, and by 200,000 kilometers, the pressure springs of the front and rear caliper pads weaken, knock on bumps. Volvo XC70 is a versatile car for different roads. It is distinguished by high safety, good dynamics, rich equipment, high quality performance, and good all-terrain qualities. When buying, it is better to pay attention to copies of the last years of production, in which childhood illnesses have already been eliminated. True, we note that this car is far from the cheapest, and the maintenance and repair of a Swedish car is expensive. 